last mile of one of history's most amazing marches. Polish patriots who escaped the Nazi blitzkrieg and in three years have walked 3,000 foot-weary miles from Poland across war-torn Russia into Caucasian Persia. And with these Polish wanderers, there are babies born in pathetic flight from war. Flight from Warsaw, bombed 41 long months ago. Flight from the horrible days of Poland's death. Poland's hunger under the Nazi heel. Poland, where Hitler's new order has exterminated millions. That 1939, from the little Polish town of Krombopla, nearly a thousand men, women, and children fled the Nazis, headed into Russia. The Nazis came there, too, and the thousand pushed on through mountain and desert to Iran's Caspian Sea. 3,000 miles to a new life. In Iran, British and American Red Cross stations take care of the Polish marchers, unite them with other Polish refugee groups. Clothing and shoes for women, whose walk was the distance from Seattle to Mexico City. And cooked food. The Poles quickly organized themselves, established schools to keep Poland's speech alive. Mothers plant and till the ancient Persian soil, as they will again till Poland's soil. Father, son, and daughter soon say farewell, for on the Caspian shores, Poland in exile trains armies, for Poles saw Nazi brutality first, and Poland's daughters and Poland's sons train for their part in the Allied victory. And for Poland's rebirth, there are solemn masses prayers for a new free homeland. Little Poland grows. Each day new groups arrive. Reunion for families parted three years ago. Joy and faith. Poland, scattered round the world, marches on for freedom.